Hey friends, my name is Z and you're watching Yi Makes It Easy and welcome to a new video for Design Technology Timbers core content and today we have 1.16 which is Design Strategies and by the end of the lesson you should be able to describe 1.16.1 which is the use of different design strategies including these things right here so check the pinned comment for all the timestamps and we'll move on with 1.16.1 which is the use of different strategies including collaboration, user-centered design, and system thinking. And here we have collaboration. And collaboration is basically working with other people in order to gain their feedback for the design. And why collaboration? Everyone has different ideas and through collaboration, it helps you to discuss ideas and solutions to a problem or make some changes to a product or design in order to satisfy more people. And collaboration could happen between designers, manufacturers, and the target audience, like a focus group. Together, they could create a successful product with a huge market that, satisfy, that satisfies customer. Advantage would be there's more flexibility and in project direction, it increase the creativity and out of the box thinking, and it, engage, and, and it engages the employees. Disadvantage could be that there may be conflict within the group and there, there may be too, like, too many leaders in the group. And we have user-centered design. And user-centered design is basically a design process in which designers focus on the users and their needs in each phase of the design process. And client and customer is the main focus and designing a product according to their liking. And it's how to carry out user-centered design. You can speak to uh, speak with your client about your design work and models to help you. Regular interviews and questionnaires, video their reaction to design models, and get them to test out your model and provide feedback. Advantage should be that client feels involved. You get first-hand feedback and user requirements can always be revisited, and there could be evaluation with real users. But disadvantage should be that designs can be too focused on just the client and not the overall market. There could, there could be significant time and effort needed and user is seen as a guinea pig or the information sources. And lastly we have system thinking. And system thinking is a philosophy that considers how elements within a system interact and influence one another. Here. And this works by breaking down into uh, breaking down the use of product or simple into uh, into simple stages. Then we can construct a flowchart for the whole process, and then develop into uh, develop it into a system diagram including inputs, processes, outputs, and signals. And when to use it, uh, it's commonly used by product designers and engineers in generating their design ideas for products like these things right here. And it helps them to think about their product or system in a logical manner and if it's efficient or not. And this is how to present a system diagram. We have five steps basically. The system diagram is divided into three areas, at like least right here. And write about all the problems you are trying to solve in the input. And the writing under the input drawing should be precise and to the point. And there's no need for incredible detail. Number four. In the process, area describes the, the type of electronics and or mechanisms that you intend to use in your project and keep the description of, of circuits and mechanisms generalized. Explain how the circuits or mechanisms control the way your product will work. And the person using your product may also be part of the process. So number five, in the output area, explain what you think will be the overall outcomes of your product. And that's it for this short video of 1.16 for Design Technology Simba Core Content. And I hope you guys have enjoyed this and found it useful. And if you did, please leave a like and subscribe and comment down below if you have any questions or criticisms. And also drop me a subscribe and turn on the notification bell so that you don't miss any video. And check out my Instagram in the description for more daily content. And I hope you guys have enjoyed this and I'll see you guys in the next video. Until then, Stay safe and happy learning.